can actually put another handle over here or something like that. It might even help you control it better. Same thing like this, you know, it has two handles. The motor's a lot smaller though, so if you put, it's going to look bulkier than that, but do less for it. I'm thinking, smaller. I'm thinking uh, shifting handles. You know what I mean? Shifting handles. Where it's just a very simple rail and lock where you could just, you know, they slide up when you want to do some other type of work and you're about to do this, you could just slide it back down and now you have some control. So we could probably make some really ergonomic type of like handle where it's good in both, you know, up direction and both in, in palm direction. That'd be really cool. Like where it's just slide up and down from the handle. I was thinking about handles that that are like pretty much onto the thing, but where you don't where your hands don't actually go all the way through and you just grip like that. Mm -hmm. Go like that, but it might be a little dangerous because if this thing jumps on you, you don't have a hole. Mm -hmm. You know what's gonna come up, yeah. But I'm not yeah, sure that's how it works either. Definitely another freaky thing is when it pops out of the wood or if you're cut close to the edge, and then all of a sudden it comes out. So I had this thing come skip at me real quick because I was not being careful enough, and Sheesh. that would have been yeah, that would have really ruined my day. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead, try it. <laughs> you want to try this? I don't really know how to work it. So the way you can either start is just right off on the edge and move it in. It is pretty loud when it. Yeah, when you start cutting, it does get quite a bit louder. I think that's just the material squeaky. Yeah, and then uh, the way that they talk about plunging it in is I, the way I do is I usually just go straight in. But the way they show on the directions is they go like this. But to me, that just seems a little more scary to do it that way than just dropping it right in. I guess that's the answer right there. there you, just start, yeah, you just start burning the material. I guess it's it's uh, too much. And well, like the blade tip isn't meant for drilling. So I guess that's the reason you got to do it at an angle is because the cutting points are on the side of the blade, which yeah, never less. occurred to me. Yeah. Doesn't have a sharp tip to actually drill into it. But go ahead and try it out. I mean, try using just your arms to control it and do a straight line versus maybe just locking your arms. And I'll give it a try. Hey, but one question is, you know, unless you would have, uh, unless you would have known that from the video, and stuff, is there anything that there that tells you that's the way to use it? Uh, which way? The way that you said. Were you? Tilt it in. Tilted in. I think only in the manual, but yeah. who reads the manual? I mean, when it's the tool looks simple like that, you I doubt anybody reads the manual. Yeah, it's, it seems pretty straightforward how to use it. Right. That seemed more logical to use it on the angle than it did from going straight, you know. With the handle, without the handle, it's actually a little bit, um, a little bit harder to control. Not that much. You don't, you, you don't feel like you actually have too much uh, accuracy in it, and your your hands are closer, so you gotta like look away to to actually get a better view. With with like if it's like this, your hands are a little bit further apart. You don't have to. You can actually see the drill bit, and your cuts a little bit better. You could see that when you had your hand up, you already started it's rocking, moving around. Yeah, rocking a little bit. Yeah. So. I think the handle is definitely a good idea to have because <coughs> if you're holding it like this, your hands a little closer, so you gotta actually, your hands are actually, your arms are actually blocking your view a little bit, and you want to move it out so you can see. And when you move out your arms, you kind of lose a little bit of your accuracy when I you're trying to cut. I feel like when you're also when you're holding it like this, you're losing a lot of leverage. Where like 
the two points that are holding the tool are close together. So all that control is from right there, whereas at least if you're holding it here and here, you've got a bit more of a leverage advantage for controlling the, the tool. You lock it. You lock the position. Yeah, there you go. So like your hands are kind of creating both axes. Yeah, like just two points versus the yeah. one point where it's like they're both on the same origin practically. I guess now you can actually tell sense. by the rocking because <laughs> it's not smooth in the middle. Yeah. I forgot my axis. Y and X. So this controls the X and this controls the Y. This hand. This you would be pushing forward. Correct. I tend to or use the left hand for doing everything, and the right hand is basically just stabilizing to keep it straight. So this one you're directing with his hand, and this one you're just keeping firm. Right. Just like but that's me. Like as if in the commercials that they show, the guy's holding it up here and stuff. So maybe with someone the handle else. Or without the handle. Without using the handle. The only time they use the handle was when they're doing a tight space, like up, up in the whatever. ceiling or in a cabinet or something. Yeah. Scary, right? What was that? <laughs> Scary when you're not yeah. paying attention. I was watching how the uh, sawdust was moving around, and how the fans work is that it pushes it out, but it doesn't just go anywhere. It actually comes out and it circulates back, and that's where you get all the sawdust on. The oh, thing. because of the turbulence, I guess that's being created. Yeah, like so it's your going in a circle. Going back in, oh, pushing, yeah. you, pushing back in. Yeah. When, yep. Whenever I use this, like my face will be covered with MDF. That's not cool. Mm. That's interesting. Actually, what I was thinking is pencil. Don't be afraid to also like yeah. try and push it fast to see like how easy it is to break the bit. Because <laughs> but I also got some. Uh, this is the birch plywood from the furniture that you guys could also try cutting on. I definitely like this. Yeah. Better than this. I wonder how it, how it feel if you actually have a handle on coming out this way or another one just like this going down like that you know it might be beneficial it might not be um, but then like how you said some of the workers they don't even use handles at all so they use a handle for this hmm? they don't use a handle with this only tight spaces is when i saw them doing it in the video because they've been doing it for so long that or like I'm kind of thinking like they've gotten used to a bad design. <laughs> well, sort of, sort of. Like when you're on the job and you've got like an assembly of houses going on, it's like you can't be taking your time to be able doing all this yeah. detail work. They're just gonna uh, put it in, cut think, it, put some border wood trim on it to hide up all the shitty cuts the and. Construction is not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Just get it done. You know? Some people just assume that they're going to get dirty when they come.